Hey, hi, hello. Welcome to Chennai Robotist. I'm Dilip Kumar. Today we're going to learn about what is a resistor. So, have you seen this component? You might have seen this component in electronic circuit boards or you would have seen in one of your experiments. So today in our experiment we are going to learn what is this resistor and what is the color code on top of this resistor, how to read them and uh, how to use them in parallel and serial connection. So it's very easy and it's going to be fun. So today we are going to learn that. Okay, one more thing, I'm just keeping you reminded, today is Diwali, I'm, taking, I'm shooting this video, so you might be hearing a lot of cracker sound in the background, so I'm not going to edit them all, they're going to be part of a fun with video, so enjoy that cracker sound in between our tutor. Okay, um, so let's get into our workshop now. Hey, hi, here is our dancing resistor. Let's learn about what is a resistor and uh, before we do that, let's learn what is a resistor made up of. A resistor is made up of carbon. Basically, a fixed resistor that we use very commonly is made up of carbon. Now, what is carbon? A carbon is a semiconductor. Its resistance is very high when mixed with other materials. Okay? And uh, so other types of resistance materials other than carbon, what are they? They are Eureka, Manganese, Nichrome and Tungsten. And Tungsten we know that it's used in our bulbs. Okay, now let's get to know about what is a resistor. A resistor is an electronic component which we use in our circuits, right, in our electronic devices. It uh, when used as a serial connection. For example, when I use a 9 volt battery with a 3 volt LED, what do you think? The LED get bursted because of it consumes 3 volt but you are supplying 9 volt. So a resistance across this will do the droppage of voltage. Okay, let's see this in a practical demonstration instead of showing you the text here. Let's get into our Tinkercad and try this experiment there okay now we are in tinkercad we are going to do the experiment with resistor here people who are new to tinkercad have already made a video on the introduction of using tinkercad the link is in my description okay now let's quickly get into our exercise we have a 9 volt battery here and a 3 volt led bulb here i have connected a resistance here you know what happens to a resistance here let me show you this with the resistor I'm going to test it okay the LED is glowing with the resistor which means 9 volt battery 3 volt LED 6 volt is being dropped subtracted by this resistor now let me show you without the resistor I'm going to remove this resistor completely and I'm going to connect this terminal of the LED to the battery Okay, let me test this now. Oh God, the LED is burst. The star symbol shows that the LED is burst because of 9 volt, 3 volt, it got bursted. Now you understand the importance of resistance in series with any circuit. So resistance play a major role in helping reduce the voltage or uh, drop the current in parallel series connection now let's get into our topic okay then what are the type of resistors we have first is our fixed resistor the resistors that we commonly use those are the resistors called fixed resistor another type is a variable resistor which is generally we use in our at home where we control the speed of our fan or this is used in our volume control where we tune the knob to control the volume of a output so that is variable another one is the LDR LDR is a light dependent resistor it is proportional to the light falling on it and the resistance value also changes another type of resistor is the 
NTC and PTC resistor. These are used in measuring the temperature. So that's about the uh, types of resistor. Let's see what are the symbols of a resistor. So for a fixed resistor, this is a symbol that we use zigzag and waveform and for the potentiometer that's a variable resistor we use this this kind of a symbol or sometimes we use this kind of a symbol as well a photo resistor that is the LDR as I said we use this kind of a light dependent resistor this is a symbol for it and then thermistor this is a symbol so symbols are very important for us to no, because later on, when you develop your electronic science, you'll be working out with circuit diagrams. So at that point, looking at the symbol, you should know what kind of a component is used there. So it is good for you to practice these symbols and memorize it. Okay, now let's get into values of resistor. What do I mean by values? How are resistance are measured? What is the unit of measurement? They are measured in ohms so we say 100 ohms equal to 1 kilo ohms or for example let me tell you 1200 ohms how do we say that it's called 1.2 kilo ohms so anything below 1000 we, we just say it's a 900 ohms or 600 ohms something like that. so above 1000 we mention that in kilo ohms and 1000 kilo ohms is equal to 1 mega ohms for example 65,000 ohms resistor we call that as 65k ohms you understand 65,000 divided by 1000 you get the kilo ohms likewise for example 6,500 ohms divided by 1000 you get 6.5k so how do we write 6.5k ohms which is normally written as 6k 5 ohms instead of the decimal we write k in between Okay, that's the value and here is the color code of the resistor. Wow, it looks so colorful, right? Isn't it? Yes. So, how to read the value of a resistor that is printed on the resistor? Have you seen the color codes? Instead of the numeric written on the small resistor, we have a color code which helps us to identify the value of the resistor. Okay, let's learn that now. It's very simple. But before we do going to the exercise, Let's by heart the color code numbers here. So black is 0, brown is 1, and red defines 2, orange 3, likewise white is 9, gold color is 5%, and silver is 10%. I'll explain to you in a very few moments, but you have to memorize these color codes if you have to become an expert of reading resistors value okay it's very simple it's about nine numbers that's it okay now let's get into our exercise this is our fixed resistor i think you might have seen this resistor as well i think i showed you in the beginning of the video this is the resistor i was talking to you about we have four colors here so this is the first digit we say and this is second digit and this is the third and this is the fourth digit so how do you mention it left side and right side sometimes this first color the first digit might be yellow as well sometimes we might get confused about yellow and gold so how do we manage that can you see the distance here after three colors here you have a longer distance for the fourth one so that will tell you that this is the fourth digit keep that in mind but it's always easy for you to know this because these three colors will be will be very closer and the fourth one will have a longer distance okay let me tell you how to read the codes now the first color or the first digit you have to write the color code of the digit the second color black here is a second digit and the third digit is number of zeros we don't write the number of the color but we instead of suppose it's a red color instead of writing two we add two zeros to the third digit okay and the fourth is the tolerance in percentage and that is the accuracy of the resistance value suppose it will have plus or minus five percent accuracy and silver means it will have ten percent plus or minus accuracy that's it now we know this bit confused about it 
don't worry I'm going to take you through an exercise you'll be very clear about it let's go to our exercise and see okay what is the first color here our first color here is the brown so here we go and see the brown is one so we write one here for the first digit is that very clear that simple okay now let's go to the second digit second digit is black here so what is the black color here zero so i'm going to pull that zero here and it's zero okay and what is our third digit our third digit is brown so which is one meaning i have to add one zero here if it was two red i will be adding two zeros here remember that okay let's go to our fourth digit fourth digit we have golden color here which means five percent that's it okay so what is the value of the resistor now the value of the resistor is 100 ohms so five percent is the tolerance between 95 to 105 ohms okay let's try one more exercise okay you're enjoying i hope so if you're really enjoying this give us a thumbs up right now okay let's move to our next resistor okay we'll say an example here so what is our first color yellow and yellow is four so i'm writing four here what is our next digit purple or we call it as violet as well so it's seven so i'm writing seven here and what's our third digit orange orange is three so i'm having three digits here now if you divide this by thousand we get 47 so 47 kilo ohms plus or minus five percent tolerance variation in the resistance value so which means 44.6 between 49.5 is the resistance value okay that was cool okay I, let me give you one more interesting thing this is an exercise for you find out the resistance value of these color codes and practice them okay and at the end of this video, I will show the answers for all this. Okay. And one more hint I'm giving you. All the resistance here are in ohms. They're not in kilo ohms. That's a hint for you. Okay. Now pause this video and start working out this exercise. It's very important for you to just work out exercise like this. For you to improvise reading codes of the resistor. That's beautiful. Okay. One more exercise for you. Again, you have to find the resistor value of these which are in ohms and kilo ohms. They are mixed now. Kind of a second level for you. Again, you have to do this and at the end of the video, I will display the answers for these resistors and you can cross check them. Okay, if you want, you can pause this video right now and work this out and then continue the video. Okay, now let's get into another chapter. What is a serial connection? It's again very easy. I'm going to take an example with the resistor here. It's an R1. It's uh, 47 kilo ohms. Okay. So connecting one resistor with another resistor in series is called serial connection. Let me show that in a diagram for you. Uh, so the input source is here and I have a resistor R1 and R2. I'm using the same resistor here but not necessarily same resistor you can use any other resistor but here I'm just showing you an example with the same resistor so R1 and R2 what is a formula to calculate the resistance if I use them in series so it's very simple I'm going to do a small addition here so resistance is equal to R1 plus R2 so 47 plus 47 if R2 is some other resistance let's say 50 kilo ohms I'm going to say 47 plus 50 okay here in our resistance value is equal to 94 kilo ohms with a tolerance 10 percent plus or minus that's very simple with series connection now let's go to the parallel connection and see what is a parallel connection connecting one resistor with another resistor in parallel is called parallel connection now getting confused about what is that both are even the previous version and this is a quite little difference let me show that to you in diagram here can you see this the top portion of the resistance are connected to each other and the bottom two resistors are connected to each other so a resistor when used in parallel connection like this it acts like a load what is a load load means it could be 
uh, glowing an LED or running a motor, whatever it is, that is load. Uh, so uh, to drop the current and not the voltage this time, if you use a resistance like this, it will drop the current, not the voltage. Let me show that to you in a brief. Okay, I have a connection here, plus voltage and negative voltage. So I'm connecting it like a load here. Now I'm using the same resistance R1 and R2, the same 47 kilo ohms. Now what is the resistance across the load here? If I combine two resistance, what is the resistance value together? Let's check that out with a small formula here for you to understand because when you go more into robotics, you might need small calculations which will help you to do combination of resistance. Okay, here I have R1 and R2 as we know the value is 47 kilo ohms. I'm, I'm using the formula R1 into R2 by R1 plus R2. Isn't that simple formula to calculate a parallel connections resistor value? Yes. So 47 into 47 divided by 47 plus 47 is equal to 23.6 kilo ohm. So which means a resistance value is getting half half its value or it's getting proportionate to each other. Suppose here R2 is some other resistance like say 80 kilo ohms. So then the value might end up uh, land up in 35 or 40 kilo ohms. You understand? Okay, this is a sm small formula you should know because later on when you become a engineer, robotics engineer, you will have shortfall of resistance. With the resistance that's available with you, you can calculate to bring out the resistance that you want in your circuit. Okay, that's about parallel connection and uh, I hope I was able to explain to you very clearly about what is the resistance and the type of resistance and how to use them in serial and parallel connection and read the color code of the resistor. I hope I was very clear in explaining to you about uh, the topic today. If I was, please let me know that. Okay, and uh, thanks for watching this video. Hey, that's the end of this video. Hope you enjoyed learning what is the resistor, how to read the color code of the resistor and in our next video, we will see you how to use a soldering iron. Okay. Do subscribe to the channel, okay? And uh, I want you to comment below about this video. And uh, we'll see you in our next video. Bye-bye.